Hello everyone, I'm Jean Hansen, co-founder of MyHouseCleaningBiz.com and the Janitorial Store. And this week we wrote an article about GPS tracking for home cleaning companies. And this is something that's becoming really pretty commonplace for all types of service businesses that do route work. So, you know, a home cleaning company, they go from home to home cleaning, and it's very difficult for owners of cleaning companies to manage the productivity of their business. So, you know, you, if you've got employees that are going from home to home, you're paying them for that travel time in between. So it's non-productive time. And as a business owner, I know that we all are looking at that because we want our employees to be productive, right? And we're, we're footing the bill for that. So I've invited Gosha Barron to join us today. She's the owner of Helping Hands Cleaning Services in Elmhurst, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago. And um, she graciously um, said that she'd be happy to talk to us about this because she's using this in her company. So thank you, Gosha, for joining us today. My pleasure. So let's just start right away um, getting into the question. So first of all, how long have you been using GPS tracking? Uh, we've been using over six years. Oh, wow. That's quite a long time then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, longer than most. So what prompted you to invest in this? Uh, so first of all, uh, about over six years ago, I invested in uh, company cars. And that's what um, made me purchase GPS tracking to uh, see exactly where the vehicles are uh, during the day. And uh, we are letting our employees take the vehicles home. So I need to make sure that they are not being used for uh, personal use sure. after hours. Yeah. So that was the reason. And then uh, the second reason, of course, we have we do uh, the first job we do on an hourly rate. Uh, so many times clients will try to dispute the hours that we were cleaning. Um, we had to multiple, multiple times we had to actually uh, print a report and email to the client so to prove we were at your location from this time to this time. And the GPS is a perfect proof uh, because it shows the ignition on and the ignition off. Yeah, so, perfect. It, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So do you ever have clients that um, are maybe at home and they call you and say, when are the cleaners gonna get here? Are, do you ever we use do. them that way? Absolutely, we have this all the time, and that's, that's another way for us to log into. Actually, we are logged into the GPS uh, system all the time, um, so we see exactly where the vehicles are. And then we right away we can well, we just put the client on hold, and we'll say, you know, we'll get back to you. Hold on one second, we will check, and we are able to tell them right away. Oh, you know the team left the previous customer, they will be there in about five minutes. Great, yeah, that's great. So what are some of the other uses that you um, have seen or what are some of the benefits as well? Uh, the other benefits is for, of course, for employees. Um, we um, had employees, you know, have not very accurate time on their time sheets. Um, and then we are able to say, you know, I'm sorry, but it seems like you were already driving home or you were already at home yeah. and you are saying that you have just finished the job. So it's for accuracy of um, pay payroll purposes. Right, right. Yeah, that's great. So did you get any pushback from the employees when they found out that you were going to be doing this? So the way we uh, presented to our employees was that simply, you know, we need to know, first of all, where the car is. Just God forbid in case something happens to the car. Uh, that's number one. And number two, we told them, you know, uh, cl uh, clients um, like to dispute hourly jobs. And yep. this is for your benefit. We don't want you to be doing uh, jobs uh, voluntarily. We don't want you to. Uh, so we sold this to the employees as a benefit to them. 
and yeah. they are they were happy yeah absolutely that's how you have to do it otherwise if they think that you're spying on them they're just going to be yeah it's going to rub them the wrong way they're going to push back really hard <laughs> yeah absolutely are there any other features that you that you use on there that's important to you? So I guess if someone was considering um, buying a GPS, there's a lot of these GPS trackers now um, to choose from. So how do they know um, what is the most beneficial? Because I'm sure that you can buy a lot of extra bells and whistles that maybe you don't need. So how do you make that decision? So primarily what we, uh, what we have, and it comes with our um, GPS, is the report um, of how the employees are driving. I just, my main concern is employee safety as well. Uh, so what I see is that the, it will show that they are speeding, or it will show uh, a hard break. It will say the hard brake, so that means to me they are going too fast, then they are braking too hard. Um, so that's what I like to see on um, on my report. Yeah, I'm would, looking at. Yeah, that would be great to be able to see that because um, you may have to switch drivers. If, you know, if you got somebody that isn't driving very safe, and you know, if you're in a big city too, that you if you're dealing with traffic and all of that, that can be dangerous as well with fast braking and so forth. So, right. so what about um, route, the savings of time in the routes? Have you been able to adjust any of your routes to be able to save that? Are they able to do that kind of on the fly if it's um, telling them that there's traffic ahead? Um, unfortunately, not with the GPS. Okay. Not with that because uh, that GPS is mounted to the, in the vehicle. And um, no, we don't use that for that purpose. Okay. All right. So how about installation? How easy is that to do? Uh, the installation, I honestly um, have a mechanic that does that for me. And it's just, it's not very difficult. Um, all he has to do is pop the dashboard uh, uh, by the steering wheel. You know, I'm just <laughs> trying to go, but, and then he has to hook it up to some wires. Um, I mean, definitely it's a, a mechanic uh, type of thing. Um, he charges me $80 to do per vehicle, so it's very inexpensive. Yeah. And, um, you know, and for the value that the GPS is providing to my company, that is very, very um, inexpensive. Yeah. And then as far as the cost of it itself, I'm the cost that we have, we are charged uh, $16.99, $16.99 per unit. Okay, wow. Per month. And so, so is there not, a monthly fee for that? Is that what correct. the fee is then? Correct. It's a monthly fee. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, that's pretty affordable. So, you know, do you have any advice on when a person might need to consider investing in this? To me, as soon as you do have a company vehicle, you really do need to have a GPS. Mm -hmm. And I will just tell you from an example that we just had in the, all the six years. Um, this past, uh, last year in February, I had an employee that got into an accident and she decided to run away with, uh, from the accident. Oh, and, no. uh, she didn't show up at the job and the client is calling and we are calling her and she's not answering the phone. And it turns out that we didn't know what happened to her. So we right away, we went to the GPS to see where the car is and the car was at the pound already. So what happened is the police chased her because the car is wrapped. <laughs> the police chased her. Um, handcuffed her, took her to the station, and the towing truck came and took the car. Wow. So we were able to uh, find out exactly where the car is. I went to get the car, um, and then about three hours later, the police called us that they she is at the police station. Yeah. So, I mean, think about that, you know, not knowing where your car is, or where your employee is, it's it's um, it would be it was a nice not nerve wracking for me. 
Yeah, yeah. It's so much peace so, of mind. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. It's a huge peace of mind. Um, the, you know, your vehicle is in a very expensive um, item in your company. Um, so for sure, as soon as you invest in a vehicle, invest that $16, $20, whatever it is, in a GPS tracking unit. Yeah. All right. So would you mind sharing what service you use for that? Yes. Uh, what we use is called the GPS track it gps okay. track it uh that is the website dot com that's where i purchased those and i've been happy i have no complaints good all right well and the other also the other thought is that um you know these days with employee issues uh trying to hire employees uh we give the vehicles to our employees to take them home it is uh we have um better luck getting employees to work for us uh, because they don't want to use their car or very often they don't have a car, the second car. Um, that way they can take the car home and then the team leader, and then they can go pick up the partner uh, and then they go to a job. So again, you know, the ease of finding employees and uh, it's helping us to know where the vehicle is at night yeah. and it's not in use because we do pay for gas. Uh, all of the employees have company car, uh, gas cars. I don't want them to be uh, spending, you know, driving on their personal time. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge perk. And, and we did the same thing in our company is that we had some company trucks and our employees took those home as well. I mean, you know, because sometimes it just made more sense. It was more convenient to them and they didn't have to come back, you know, to our office, which might have been out of the way and so forth. So, yeah, it is. It's a huge benefit. It definitely cuts costs because we don't have to pay them from the job to the company, to our company, to our office. Mm -hmm. from the last job they go from the last job they can go home and we work in the chicagoland area the traffic can be very very uh huge sometimes um so you know why should we pay for them to drive from uh the last client half an hour to the office and we, if you have a team of two then you have to pay an hour of travel time right so it's you have you know, 40, 50, 60 employees, that really adds up quickly. Yeah. And same for the back, back end. So that first trip, you know, for those that may not know that first trip from home to work is not paid time, but as soon as they go to your office and then they go to a client, that's where they start. And then the same thing, if they have to go back to your office that they have to pay for that, but they from your office to home, it's not. So you're cutting off that one trip on the front and the back end. So yeah, it makes sense. And I think you have to judge that, you know, based on your own business, especially in a metro area like you are in or like I'm in Minneapolis, it'd be that's very similar. Um, it, yeah, it just makes more sense. And especially, too, if, you know, sometimes we hire employees where our clients are located. So if you've got a lot of clients in one suburb, um, in you know a couple of suburbs of, of an area, it's much easier for them to be at home and drive to a client than maybe you're way over here on the southern part of you know you know three cities away, three suburbs away. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You know, and if you're in a smaller town, that may not make sense for you. So right. All right. right. Any any other last thoughts, Gosha? Um. No. That's. That's all I can think of. All right. I highly, recommend, I highly, highly recommend it's the best investment. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate your feedback. You're welcome. It was my pleasure. All right. Thank you.